Today we're going to be making a beat in the style of J. Cole's new album, The Off Season. I mean, I thought it was a pretty good album. I mean, hopefully we get another one soon, but oh, oh, wait, never mind. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite song on the album was, and as always, let's get into it. So this beat was mainly inspired by the interlude track on the album. That beat has a crazy soul sample in it, and when I heard that, I knew I had to find the perfect, nicest soul sample I could possibly find. And you know what? I feel like I did exactly that. So I found this sample in the Flowers and Narnia kit, and when I heard it, man, I knew I had to do something with it. So I pitched it down by 450 cents, and I applied a chorus effect on it, and I also put an EQ on it to cut just enough of the lows out to where it wasn't muddy, but also just enough to where it wasn't taken away from the character of the sample. Because by taking too much of the low end out, you can take away from the overall character and feeling that the sample has and you don't want to do that. So with all that, here's what the sample sounds like. So really, I mostly kept everything fairly simple for the drums. The only thing that was slightly complicated was the hi-hats. So we have a clap, a kick, an open hat, and a snare. So here's what all those sound like together. So for this hi-hat pattern, I made triplet hi-hats, which is a very different bounce than a standard trap pattern, a two-step hi-hat. That along with the rolls in the hi-hats, if there are any, plays a very significant role in the overall bounce of the beat, which is why I wanted to highlight the hi-hats alone. So with all that being said, here is what the hi-hats sound like. So for the bass, I wanted something more subtle. I knew a loud or distorted 808 wouldn't really work with this type of beat. So I used a sub bass that was more low key. Here's what that sounds like. So yeah, things were starting to come together now, but I still felt like something was missing. So I found this sample of some chimes and I stretched the hell out of it to make it sound more slow and moody or whatever. And what this did was it just filled up some space. So here's what that sounds like. So for the arrangement, we had an intro, an eight bar hook, a 12 bar verse. We took the eight bar hook and the 12 bar verse and we repeated that again. Then we had one more hook and then we had the outro. So for the first four bars of the verse, there were certain points that I cut all the instruments out so that everything could come back in and it would create this energy. So I did this one more time right at the end of the first four bars of the verse and then afterwards I brought everything back in. I brought in the chimes, the bass, I brought in the drums and this time I pitched the sample up by an octave. So really, the only other thing worth noting for the arrangement is the outro. After the last hook, I took a different part of the original sample and I placed it at the end. And it sounds like this. Thank you. 
John. John. John, 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 John.